Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of this uh, iPhone web services tutorial using SQL, PHP and iPhone. This is part 2, so we're going to be making the post uh, form essentially in the iPhone. And if you ever used uh, posting to a SQL server or to a script before on a website, we're going to mimic the exact same thing. We want to mimic the taking the information and passing it to um, an intermediary. So we're going to make the GUI. Uh, I'm going to make GUI for both two, part 2 and 3 now. So, very quickly, open up a tabbed application. Let's call it uh, SQL, it doesn't matter what you call it. Create it wherever you feel like making it. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. Open up your storyboard. Um, to do, actually, first things, delete the second view controller, because our second view controller is going to be a table view controller. So, delete new file, uh, view controller, table view controller, and call it second view controller. Control, yeah, tr, troll, next, <coughs> and create. Okay, uh, click on your second view, delete the view altogether, drag in a table view into your second view controller. There we go. And link your data source to itself. It's already linked to the tab bar controller, so it should still have two in it. Perfect. Just build and run. I got a warning there because I haven't set the identifier for the prototype cell, which is an extremely annoying addition to Xcode 5. Well, iOS 5, effects code 4. Point whatever it is at the moment. Okay, that miss your simulator. Load up. <coughs> oh, come on. I know it works. Why are you taking so long? And there you go. Tail view in the second view controller. Perfect. Okay, now you can kill that. Uh, we're going to do our initial setup very quickly in your first view controller and in the brackets that they've removed in this version IB outlet UI text field um, name text IB outlet UI text view message message text um, don't need a button, but we need an IP action. Uh, IP action, and we're going to call it post. Perfect. Okay, the reason why I'm doing this all now is because I want to set the GUI for the first bit now, and not have to come back to it all later on. Okay, first view controller. Uh, yeah, delete that, and delete that. Okay. We want a text field, drag it into the very top of your screen, a bit of room, then you want a button, right, right hand button, stick it right beside your text field, and then you want a text view, which is down below the table cells, there we go, text view. And give it a bit of room, didn't mean to do that, but it doesn't really matter delete all the crap inside. Now it's going to be a white background so you don't really see it but it doesn't really matter. We can deal with that as we get to it. Uh, for the placeholder just um, where's it gone to? Yeah, Placeholder, name, call the button, post and let's connect the suckers. Do 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 message text to the text view, name text to the text field and post to the post button and touch up inside. So this is essentially like our form on a website. If you've ever filled it in or if you right clicked and checked the view source and looked at it, you'll see a post function. Uh, that's taken the fields as the arguments. We're gonna do the exact same thing now. First of all we're gonna set up our our main things. If you've never used definition before, definitions are basically like macros. You set them up to hold information just for easier reference. And also we have to set 
a value to a value later on to include in the base string, uh, which we'll do later on. So define. Uh, we're going to have a k post earl, and it's going to be uh, http colon slash slash local host uh, slash test tutorial. Was that what we called our tutorial test even? Tutorial test. Tutorial test dot php. Okay, so that's now stored. This is a variable we can use anywhere else. It's just handy to have later on. Uh, we're going to define two more. Define k name name and oops, define k message as message. Simple. And we need one other little bit of business here. We need a ns mutable no ns earl connection and we're going to call it post connection let me see it's a quick glance at my note. I think that's all we need yeah excellent that's pretty much our interface all set up now as you saw there we have two main methods here. Oh, I'm not going to use any of those just yet or at all ever again. So let's set up our uh, our two methods. First of all, <coughs> we want to set up our action. No, set up our main method first because that's what's going to hold all our data and which our action is going to be using. So we're going to call it oof, why must you torment me today? Void post message. Mm, I can see that naming can be a problem, it doesn't really matter. It's going to take an ns string uh, message and with a name ns string name. Okay, now to send off this we have to do a few things. First of all, we want to check that this isn't receiving two empty parameters. So if, if I type myself, if name not equal to nil and and message not equal to nil, proceed. So if they try to enter <coughs> a blank parameter, this won't work. So it has to have a name and a message to be sent. Okay. Now we need ns mutable string. Now why does that have to be mutable? Because we're going to be appending this. We have to append all our variables to this one string that we're going to encode and send. So we have to do this. So we're going to call it post string. Okay. Now this is kind of long, but try and bear with me. There might be a few things you don't understand. I'll try and explain as I go through. So ns mutable string string with string with string and a string k post earl okay so that's the initial part of it so that's the it's going to be sending it to this earl but we want to append things to this earl so post string append string and a string string with formats no not string no, string with format and this way you might not get you might get a bit confused. I'm gonna type it out and then come back and explain it. Question mark percent at equals percent at k post not k um k name name. Okay. So you're probably wondering, oh what the hell is this? Okay, because we're this is the first appending we are doing to it, we need the question mark. And well, it's like if this is equal to that. So if name, the string name, is equal to name, which we've called name earlier, append it, which it is. So we are making this equal to that. Am I missing a bracket? I am. My bad. Okay, but now to append something else to it. As you can guess, post string, append string, and a string, and a string string with format 
and no it's at the percent even and percent at equals percent at k message message Woo done so that's our our string essentially done okay now to actually finish this string off by encoding it to be sent so post string set string and a string string with format now this is where it gets a bit interesting because I've done it wrong I've just been following the last line not the one I want so we're setting the string as post string uh, string by string by adding percentages blah, blah, blah. so what this is doing now is we're now encoding the string with a ns encoding okay this is now going to turn this code into a formatted string for us to be able to send by post so it's nsut f8 string encoding bracket and bracket so post string is now a nice funny string for people to look at well we're not going to see it but it's what's going to be sent now now we have to set a request for this to work with ns mutable request mutable or request even my bad <coughs> request equals ns mutable Or request a lock in it with Earl NS Earl I'll go away Earl with string post string okay so now you have to use this request but first of all you set this request to be something request set HTTP method Post. So this is actually setting up the same kind of thing that's built into HTML. Post connection equals NS Earl connection alloc in it with request. Request is just request, delegate is self, and then we're going to add in start <coughs> immediately. Yes. Okay and that is all she wrote for this so now we have to make the IB action to use this and we can always set a little NS log here to double check that send but we'll know when we check the database in two seconds okay so now we have to set it so let me check the time of the video Jesus gone way too long okay this very quickly this is taking much longer than I expected <clears throat> I'm gonna set the method IB action post I believe it's called Oh, why do you do that? Double up, sender, uh, brackets, and so now we have to call this post message down here. So self post message, uh, and it is with message. Uh, we had message text dot text because it's a string. Then name text dot text because it's a string. Don't forget those two. Then you want to because message is going to be the second thing you fill in. We want message text resign first responder make it go away and message text dot text equal nil so we'll clear the text fields do you tell me it's nil go away something's supposed to be a bracket there there is not set so nil properties doesn't um, name text dot text equals nil and let's build and run Okay, so name I Elmo, message hello all. There we go. And if you flick to your database and click on test DB, you'll see a button here called browse, browse, and there you go. Okay, ID 5 because I test this minute ago after I made a mistake. Here should be ID maybe 1 or 2 depending on where you have the script, but there you go. You successfully posted to your database and you can do it 